So the last time you were here, we got a lot of calls and emails and faxes about whether or not you are dating anybody. Any news on that front? No. Well, here's the thing. I, I, I had I met a, a girl, a very, very a great person, and we started dating uh, during the run uh, uh, up to Dancing with the Stars uh, after co-hosting with you the last time. And it... it it didn't help me at all in my ability to be like a solid mate or good for the dating scene because you get on TV and not only are you on TV but you have uh, your dance partner Lacey Schwimmer who's really beautiful and wearing mm -hmm. nothing right. uh, like <laughs> rubbing up all around you and right. getting all passionate and whatnot and uh, it, <laughs> it can cause problems and you know and she had a problem with it and I can understand now look initially I said oh, come on there's no need to be jealous come on be understanding be you're relaxed. my own you're my one and only baby yeah and then you go back and you watch this like a half an episode you're like all right I understand I <laughs> well I I saw you guys on Jimmy Kimmel and you and Lacey yeah and I thought there was a ton of what we would call sexual chemistry yes um, what that is is that Lacey is a very good actress she's not only a talented dancer she's a good actress because I think that um, this season on Dancing with the Stars there isn't any real romance so and usually there is one pop star. Always. At yeah. least one. So they're kind of using Lacey and I as their uh, romantic lab rats, and that's fine. You know, if they want to start spreading those rumors, I'm down with it. <laughs> but so if you, if Lacey were to ask you out on a date, say, yeah. would you take her anywhere? Would I take her anywhere? Yes. Where would I you would. take her? I've been thinking about this because I've thought to myself, one of these days you're going to have a date with a lady, and you're going to have to do something good. Not a lady. I figure, Lacey. I said yes. Lacey. All right. Let's now, say it's I'm, I'm narrowing it down to one lady. I, I'm going to try the come to my place and I'm going to cook you a meal as opposed to take you out to dinner. This is a bad mistake. Why I'm going to tell you. What. <laughs> You've already got the dancing handicap thing happening yep. where, you know, not, it's already cost you one girlfriend. That's right. So are you a good cook? Well, I'm a, be I'm a, better, I'm a better cook than I am a dancer. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna give you a list of restaurants yeah. that I would recommend that you take Lacey. Okay. Just as a just as a thank you for guiding me down those scary murky waters on the dance floor. I, I sent I sent Lacey flowers after every one of my the very few amount of performances that we had because I was again the first eliminated. Um, I sent her flowers to thank her because it is it's if you're a professional dancer since you're like a toddler, how frustrating is it to trot around the dance floor with a guy like me? <laughs> Oh, I don't think it was that frustrating uh, for Lacey. My grandmother was the most... Out of everybody who, 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 who judged me and panned me for being a bad dancer, my grandmother uh, was the most disappointed. She said, she said... I love your family. You are surrounded by women who beat you down. Yes, You are going to make the best husband. Uh, oh, yeah, because I'm very accustomed to being, to being you know, broken down. It's true. And... Uh, <laughs> My grandmother said, she's like, oh, mijo, you did so great, but where did those dance moves come from? You look like a, a robot, she said. <laughs> did you tell her I was doing the robot? <laughs> yeah. I, I said, this is, it's, uh, what I was doing, Grandma, was groundbreaking. It's the new robot waltz, and <laughs> no one's done it yet. <laughs> well, I don't know. I saw, I saw something there. I saw a little something between you two. Mm. And by the way, I have to thank you, because when you co-hosted here, you sent me flowers, and that was so touching and sweet, and I really appreciate it. The least I could do. It was truly the least I could do. And I thought I was special, but apparently he sounds a about it. Everybody knows you're apparently special. Apparently everybody gets Every flowers look, from my cabin. No, no, not everybody. It's not like I'm walking around town just throwing around flowers is like your, I'm... Is your grandma a florist? <laughs>